authorizing. Access granted. Welcome to Sakurum Laboratories. Thank you, Texas, and welcome back to the Lab Trainers to another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke. Now, before we get started, if you haven't seen a previous episode to the Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke, please be sure to click the annotation that is right below, below me, and that will lead you to a playlist showing you all the previous episodes of the Nuzlocke up until now, and possibly future, depending on what time you're reading this and watching this. Anyway, my name is Professor Sacrum, if I haven't mentioned that already, and let's do a quick little team recap. First off, starting off our party, a recap. Oh my gosh, I got all the water burps because it is boiling hot and I need something to hydrate me. We have Terex, the level 10 serious nature Togepi that we got from our egg. It is a normal type right now. With the, move, with the ability Serene Grace and the move Sweet Kiss, Charm, Extra Sensory, and Metronome. Next up is LOL, the mild nature Hoppip, who is a grass flying type. With the ability Leaf Guard and the moves Tackle, Synthesis, Bullet Seed, and Sleep Powder. Next up we have Zoe who is the bravest little Pidgey that we got out there with the normal flying typing. And she's got a little bit of a Tangled Feet situation going on. But she's rocking that Tackle, Sand Attack, Gust, and Quick Attack right there. And next up is Zarium, our hardy, hardy nature, rock hard body nature. Geodude with the rock and ground typing and the ability rock head and the moves magnitude defense curl rock throw and rock polish Next up is Josh the level 17 bashful very shy uh, Onyx who is a rock ground type as well with the sturdy ability and the moves rage rock throw bind and screech and last but not least, wrapping up our team is Dalen, the sassy little Zubat, who is our poison flying type with the inner focus ability and the moves Leech Life, Supersonic, and Astonish. Last time, if you guys don't remember, we actually just collected our second gym badge. We are currently in Azalea Town, and let's just keep moving forward because you know what? Now we just we got we beat our rival, we beat the gym, we gotta go over yonder this way to the Ilex Forest. So that means we get a brand spanking new encounter. So our encounter for the Ilex Forest is... Can we get it right now? Can we get it right now? Please? Our encounter for the Ilex Forest is hopefully not dupes. It is a Caterpie. A male Caterpie. So we got ourselves a Caterpie. Hopefully we cannot knock it out. Let's just go. Let's go with extra sensory. Because we're going to try and knock the, not knock this thing out. I want a Butterfree. I said it earlier. We had a Metapod at one point. Well, no, we didn't have the Metapod. We encountered a Metapod at one point, And I want to make sure that we can get a Butterfree. Okay. That is perfect. Let's go Charm so that you don't knock us out. So this, this little Togepi that we just got that we still have to show Professor Realm. But we'll show Professor Realm a little later. I, I don't want to go out of our way to go show Professor Realm. And then do all that. So now we're just going to lower your attack by two stages. There we go. And we're going to throw a lovely little Pokeball at you. We're going to throw a Pokeball. I don't even want to throw a Fastball. Let's throw a Pokeball. Go. Can I get the three shakes, please? One, two, three. And you're out. And ours. So we have ourselves a male Caterpie. So Caterpie. And let's add the information to our Pokedex. Caterpie, level uh, number 24, the worm Pokemon bug type. Height, 1 foot, weight, 6.4 pounds. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from the antenna on its head to drive away enemies. Now, I already have this in mind. I already have this nickname in mind because it's a bug type and I thought about it earlier. We are going to be naming you Spoop or Spoopy, I think, because of Bug Maniac Spoopy. Let me just double check to see. I know he has an answer comment question of the day, but as I said last time, yep, okay, Bug Maniac Spoopy. He's right there, cool. So as I said last time, we are, we are starting to run out of comment question of the day, people. But anyway, we have ourselves Spoopy, the Caterpie, who is transferred to box one. So maybe we'll get back to you later. We'll at least try to grind you up, and I'll show the evolutions on screen, because that'll be fun. Hey, good afternoon, what's up? This is Liz. Hi, t uh... Tanya, how are you? This is Liz. I'm fine, but I'm bored. So oh, wrong number. Okay, girl, you need to work on that a little bit. But I am sweating so bad. I'm sweating so bad in this, in this, in this room. 
There's so much going on. Oh man, my boss is gonna be angry. That farfetch that cut trees for charcoal took off in the forest. Can you catch them for me? Farfetch have sensitive ears. If you step on a branch, he'll face toward you. That's your chance. Sneak up behind from behind and catch them. Do you think you can do that? I guess so. But you know what? Because we're running, let's turn off our running. But you obviously heard us there. So let us move away. Okay, let's alright, I'm okay I'm okay with running now. Because apparently running doesn't move you, but... Gotcha! Wah! Snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. So there's your farfetched. Wow, you found a farfetched. Thank you. But there is one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way. Remember, that's your chance to catch it. Sneak up from behind and slowly. Okay, we'll, we, we will do that. We will do that. Ooh, but first, there's an item here. A revive, not helpful to us in our journey here because we don't revive Pokemon if they faint. If they faint, they faint and they're gone and that's it. What else we got here? Just Caterpies? Okay, I'm gonna use Terex to knock you out. Because Terex, luckily Terex Extrasensory is actually pretty powerful right now. Just saying. Oh, I'm gonna need to get more water. I am I should have gotten more water because I'm telling you right now, it is, it's so hot. You know, this is some of the first times I've really been able to really truly just stick to a hardcore schedule. And recording in the summer is really, really hard because the room gets really hot. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six lights on right now, which is kind of unnecessary, but it's just because they all, they're, most of them are all connected to each other. So I just move them in every which way. I got a door closed. I think I opened up my window just a little bit. Yeah, I did. Oh, no, I closed it again because it wasn't, it was just letting out heat. All right, so there's that far fetch there. Let's see. Okay, we can't sneak up behind it from here. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run up this way, and maybe he'll run away the other way. You don't have to worry about it. Okay, these Caterpies kind of gotta go. I already got the Caterpie I wanted. I got the Caterpie I wanted. So now we have a Bug type. But it's another Bug flying type. <laughs> it's another flying type. Oh my gosh, we are loving these. We are, we're getting all these flying types. We have ground and rock, and that's it. Like. We have some other types too. We got normal. We have poison. We have grass. But I need something else. Just a little something else. You know, I don't I could use something that's, you know, maybe not weak to ice. But I guess that might be just a little too much to ask for. Ah! It ran that way. Okay, that's fine. Um what we will do instead. Is we will do oh oh my goodness okay this is what we'll do we grab you here turn you around this way so you're facing the trees and what we do here gotta gotta take it very slow these caterpie though these caterpie gotta go i'm sorry caterpie i love you as a pokemon and everything but i need to i need, I need to get through terex i need you to take this thing out with an extra sensory Oh my goodness, it's not even down. It's not even down. So our Butterfree is actually specially defensive. Or our, our Caterpie, not Butterfree. Our, 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 our Spoop, Spoopy is is a specially defensive Caterpie. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm really okay with this. All right, this extra century's got to go. Get up out, Caterpie. Get up, get up out. Ah, look at Tarek. Just getting this little bit of experience that he needs. And we got gotcha. you. What? Suck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Wow, you got them both for me. Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Yeah, my far and fetched. Uh, you found them for us, kid. Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees down for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? Uh, no, you're too young for that. No, you're too young for that. I know. Here, take this. HMO1. We received HMO1. That's the HM cut. Teach that to the Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to get have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. All right, that's okay. So we're going to teach a Pokemon of ours cut. Can any of our Pokemon learn cut? That's actually a very interesting question. Let's see. Who can learn cut? Everybody is unable to learn cut. So actually, um, because I'm in this situation where I, 
I'm unable to learn cut naturally. I'm going to send one of our Pokemon in the box and I will bring back one of our old Pokemon to help us progress. Because just because we can't use the HMs to progress doesn't mean that we shouldn't just be done with the series. Because otherwise, I would have just stopped this a while ago. So, instead we're going to grab um, our fainted party member. And this is why we don't release Pokemon because we're going to need them. So instead of having to catch a brand new one to learn a move, we're going to actually just revive one of our old Pokemon. We're going to... I'm going to revive the original Zoe, because I want Zoe to at least be useful for something. The original Zoe, so we're going to put we're gonna put Zubat in for now, uh, because I want to use the others just a little bit more, but that's just because I... Zubat's just a pain to train up, but let's teach you HMO1 Cut, and now I'm down to five Pokemon on my team, so let's go. HMO1 Cut. Cool. So Zoe and Zoe. We have two Zoes on our team. Alright, we have HMO uncut. Cool. But we're not using Zoe. No, we're just using her to cut down trees. We have a ghost of a Pokemon to cut down trees. So. Because they, they although they've passed on to the next life, they want to see us succeed and be happy with who we are and stuff of that nature. Um, anywho. Oh, Zoe, I miss that sentry. I would, I really wish, I really, I really do wish that I was still alive. There's always going to be that part of me that's just like, I'm upset that we lost that sentry. It was going to be really good. I can really only use extra sensory because metronome is scary. I'm going to dehydrate. There's going to be a lot of issues going on. If I pass out on camera... And the episode seems short, you know why. Because I'm going to cut it. <laughs> that will be the thing. If I pass out from heat stroke, <laughs> why am I talking about this right now? Anyway, this, to this Togepi is actually doing a lot of work right now just for being level 10. We just got this thing too, last episode. And it got to level 10 in the gym. Train tips, I've grown up trees. You can see, just watch for items as they drop. Okay. Spilarmpy. Alright, we got that Caterpie again. Lots of Caterpie. Lots of Caterpie. Caterpie. Nope. I'm going to bring you here. And I think our... Oh, there's an item. Item, 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 item. An X attack. I'm glad I got that X attack. Can I not run into all these Caterpie, please? Oh, it's a Metapod this time. Ooh. I'm gonna take it out. That's some good experience for Terex. Terex! I need you to get to 11 with this. Oh, if I use Metronome and I got Flamethrower. Or like Rock Throw. Or, you know, Aerial Ace. Something like that's super effective against Bug. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool, actually. But anyway, we got this extra sensory going off. I really don't. I should really look into extra sensory, what it really does. Like how it does its damage and whatnot, because I, I don't really know much about the move. We didn't level up. Sadness. Lots of sadness. Can we not... Because there's a certain... That guy. I want to get to you. I want to get to you. I was going to say, there's a certain person whom I, I need to encounter before we move on, because we need to learn ourselves a move for encounters. Alright, Terex. You can do it. I believe in you. Extra sensory. Do it. This psychic little egg Pokemon is just going to be knocking out all these cocoons. Or these pods, I should say. Ooh, that hardened doll. That hardened doll. Oh, it's hardened. It's okay. It's only a hardened doll. All right. Extra sensory. Knocking this thing out. Let's go, Metapod. You're down. At 51, we got the level 11 Terex. So now you're on par with Zubat. With, uh, a duh. Daylin, there we go. I can oh, never remember if it's Daylin or Delina or Dayella. Oh my. Oh my. Hello, sir. What am I doing? I'm shaking trees using Headbutt. It's fun. Here, you try with your Pokemon too. Sure, which Pokemon should learn it? Can I have anyone learn it? Is there anyone? It doesn't tell me who can learn it. I could teach it to Zoe. But I, I can't really use it for encounters and such. But let's go with... 
Let's see, you have rock polish, rock throw, magnitude. What else? You have rage, screech, bind, and rock throw. You don't have tackle anymore, do you? No. I'm going to teach it to to Josh. Okay, cool. We can teach it to Josh. And we're going to get rid of bind, actually. Because bind... <sighs> bind is low accuracy, and headbutt is much better, and has the chance to flinch. So, we're going to do that. And now that we know headbutt... There, how do you like it? Your Josh looks stronger. Wade, what do you want? Oh no, my Togepi's on the edge. Professor, howdy! It's Wade, how are you? How come you're not here yet? Route 31 is where I am. Please get here as soon as possible. I know you have a barrier for me. I'll be back there soon. Don't worry, I'm, I'm a little out of the ways right now. Alright, let's... I want someone else to get some screen time, but you know what? There's not really... You know what? Mm, no. Because the next... We actually can't go past level 19 now. Because the next gym's ace is at 19, so there's that. Kimono girl, kimono girl, lost in Araron. Poor girl, lost in the dark Irex forest. Forest. <laughs> what? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, you m will you show me how to get out this forest? Yeah. You will? Aren't you lost in the forest as well? How do you know how to get out of here? My Pokemon know the way. I'm out of water officially. Wow, are you going to show me how to get out? You are sure you are such a smart Pokemon. See you. See you. <laughs> See you later, Kimono Girl. Alright, let's grab this item right here. No, we don't want to use headbutt here, actually. We're gonna grab this ether, because this could be helpful too later on. I like to save my ethers and my elixirs and such for Elite Four and for Pokemon League stuff. Because you can't heal in between matches. Oh, well, between matches you can heal. That's it. All right, we're running. We're running. Terex, you've had enough battling today. It's okay. I'm really okay. All right. These these Pokemon need to stop. I should ugh, have bought repels, but I didn't. Okay. So you can yell at me that way, but I, I, I don't have money, really. I mean, I do have some money, but I don't want to waste my money on repels because I can use it on potions, and I can use it on other things. So here we go. What do you have to say? You see the shrine? The pain? Yeah, I already saw that. Uh, yeah, grass-type Pokemon. Oh, honey, you're making a Pokedex? <gasps> we got a TM. Whoa, I didn't know you gave me a TM. What'd you give me? Taunt. Ooh. That's kind of interesting. Be nice to use against that Ghastly that likes to use Destiny Bond in spite. Alright, let us switch up our team members just a little bit. Because you know what? I would be A-OK -okay with having Zoe get to level 18. Alright, Goldenrod Radio Tower. Alright, we got trainers here, folks. We got trainers. This is where I do my training. Yeah? Cool. Also, this is a new route. <gasps> we can get a new Pokemon here. <gasps> we can do a headbutt encounter. <gasps> We do lots and lots and lots and lots of things. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's go with the gust. Let's go with a gust. Because. Ah, oh, nice. Nicely done. Lovely. Sand shrew. Okay. So let's go for another gust. Because sand shrew is physically not especially defensive. This will be helpful for us. Nice and powerful, Zoe. You're so powerful. Nice little Zoe. There we go. Gust attack again. Ah, oh, nice. I'm melting. I'm melting. Ah, oh, level 17. There we go. One more level. One more level. We'll get ourselves a nice little evolution. Whirlwind. No, I don't need that. I'm gonna keep all moves. Watch. I'm gonna regret this immediately. Spiro. That's okay. Spiro ain't got nothing on us. Ain't got nothing on us. Ain't got nothing on us. Is that even like audible? Could you hear that? Did you tell what I was saying? Ain't got nothing on us. For those who need a translator, that was me in some sort of weird alien tongue saying, they got nothing on us. But that's that. 
What? The heat makes me delirious. I mean, I'm always delirious, but that's how I keep myself sane. Oh my gosh, there are so many things just happening. I don't even know, Youngster Samuel, you didn't even stand a chance. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Here we go. Yeah. What do you gotta say? What do you gotta say, punk? Come on. I just got my Pokemon back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Okay, that's cool. I am dying. I'm literally dying. Oh my gosh, I feel it. I feel my skin just melting off of my bones. That's a scary thought. Intimidate? How dare you? How dare you? How rude? That's okay, we got this gust. Gust? Okay, that did nothing. Charm. You're gonna intimidate and charm, so now I'm at minus three attack, but that's okay, because gust is special. You, sir, are rude? Okay, now I'm at minus five attack. Okay, rude, 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 rude. Very, very rude of you. This gust hopefully will knock you out. There we go. That's how we do it. Zoe. Zoe, can you can we see that evolution today, baby? Please? We got nine minutes. I think we can do... Bye. 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 Zarium. Zarium, I need you out. I need you out to use magnitude. I need you to use magnitude at least greater than five. Can I get that from you? Ooh, that growl. I don't like that growl. Magnitude 7. Do we see the knockout? And we do. We see the knockout. Look at that. Look at that teamwork. Teamwork. Pokefan Brandon, why does it end this way? Because you have a child on your back and you're letting it crawl. Or letting yourself crawl over. Hello. Oh, hi, Professor. <laughs> How are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry, but I asked the delivery man to take it to you, so you should stop by the nearest Pokemon or department store and pick it up. I know it'll be useful. You bought something with my money? Mother, I did not ask you to do that. I asked you to save my money, not to spend it for items for me, because I, although I might appreciate them, they're, they're, it's my money. I had plans for that later on. I was going to buy a house. Oh, this man keeps going down. Please don't know rock throw. Hopefully this Gus can actually one shot. I mean, we're seven levels above. Yeah, if it didn't one shot, I was going to say, Zoe, you would have some serious explaining to do. <gasps> We're gonna see it. 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 We're gonna see it, aren't we? We're gonna see it, aren't we? Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, here we are, like nine episodes in, and we're gonna see our first evolution. That's so exciting! <laughs> Someone stop me, please. Please help me! Level 18! Zoe's a level 18! Ah, let's go. Ah, youngster Ian, out of here. No, there are better trainers. <gasps> what? Zoe is evolving! <laughs> okay, I need to stop being like a little <laughs> Bacoblin or whatever. Congratulations, your Zoe evolved into Pidgeotto! Hmm, if you transfer if you transferred into my class, I'd become the second best student in my class, wouldn't I? Wanna become I wanna get stronger so I happen to trade phone numbers. Cool. <gasps> we got Pidgeotto. We got Pidgeotto. Look at that on the layout right there. It's all nice. It's all nice. Alright, cool. I'll give you a call when we need to battle again. Question mark? Huh? Zoe's holding something. Would you like to take it? No, I'm okay. So we seem happy to found something. Yay! All right, that's awesome. Let's switch up our team though, because although Zoe's now at level eight, um, we could use other Pokemon to be leveled up to 18. Not eight, 18. There we go. 18 is the level that we are at. Let us go up this way. Grandpa! 
Oh my god. So, good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit too. Uh, uh hi, Professor. <laughs> Let me introduce you. This is Professor. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Follow me, Professor. Okay, Lyra, let's go. That water type kind of scares me just a little bit. Just a little bit, a little bit. <gasps> Grandma! Let me introduce my friend. This is Professor. Ha ha. This is your boy friend? Hmm, I see. Uh, what? Grandma, what are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. I mean, he's super cute, but come on. Stop. <laughs> I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure of it. that's his talent. Right, Professor? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Oh, I almost forgot. Here, this is my Pokegear number. Hey, we got her digits, though. Let's go. You know you can talk about talk to your Pokemon as they follow you. They do all sorts of cute stuff on the road and in towns. I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share some of them with you. Grandma, don't you say anything. We're both trainers and we are supposed to exchange numbers. That's all. Grandma and I both really know what's going down here. Alright, let's keep ourselves rolling because we are actually... Oh, 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 oh! I have an idea, I'll give you our numbers, and you can check on the Pokemon we raised for you. Cool! Dun -dun -dun -dun. Wow, I got both their numbers? You gave me your wife's number too? That's a little rude. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I'm curious. I might save encounters for- oh, Never mind! Our first encounter for Route 34 is... Aratata, it's duped, so it doesn't count. So we'll save our encounter for next time. There we go. I just kind of want to get to where we need to get. Okay, we can't escape. Um, we can just knock this thing out. It's okay. It's dupes. It's dupes. Okay, we can't escape from it. I should have remembered that. But I just pressed A. Throw. Can we just throw a rock at it? Rock polish. And what was the other move? Defense curl? Was it defense curl? I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention defense curl so let's just shake the ground a little bit and no matter what it is even if it's magnitude zero that was a crit six knocks it out cool level 11 radita we should hopefully hey level 17 that's how we do it that is how we do it and actually actually um are you a trainer no you're on patrol for suspicious activity what do you got? About, what about you? What about you, camper person? I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? I guess so. If you really want me to. Sida. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. LOL. Take take the reins right now because this is a like water type and one of my big weaknesses. Water gun. Okay. Okay. Let's go for the sleep powder. Hey, we land on the first hit too. That's how we do it. That is how we do it. Hey, that's how we do it. And then we could just start spamming uh, bullet seed. So that's a-okay with me. Bullet seed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess it's eight. Three times. Woke up already? Bruh! Stay asleep. I spent way too much time trying to get you to sleep. Or we could hit you four or five times and I'd be okay with that. One. Two. Three. Can I get one more? Of course not. Tail whip. That's okay. That is a-okay in my book. Uh, tackle. There we go. Tackle. It's done. There. Perfect. 120 XP. 120 XP. Campatard. Didn't I train enough? No, you didn't. We should both train some Pokemon some more. Blah, blah, blah. She, don't you agree? I, I mean, I guess so, but okay. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, see you later. Alrighty. 
We have now reached the next city. We are in Goldenrod City. We got there in one episode. So, excuse me. With that all being said, we are out of time for today. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. If you did, please be sure to smash and destroy that like button. Because if we reach about 10, 20, uh, what did I say, 20? 20 likes per episode. So that's every episode on the Nuzlocke. If you get 20 episodes, uh, 20 likes, which shouldn't be too hard. There's a lot of you out there. Um, then we can, you know, maybe get a little special something to commemorate the series. Anyway, with that being said, my name is Professor Sacrum, and I will see you guys next time when you visit the lab. Dexis, would you please sign us out? Please, I'm afraid of you. Certainly, Professor. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you're still unsure about subscribing but still want to see more, then click on one of the links on the screen to see more videos made by the professor. To stay up to date with work in the laboratory, check in the description where you will find the professor's social media links. Thank you for visiting Sacrum Laboratories, and have a wonderful day.